In this video, I walk you through step by step how to make a website quickly in just 10 minutes using my simple three step WTF system. You can use this to make any kind of website. And the best part is you won't need to write a single line of code. We'll create your beautiful custom website at lightning speed so you can have your website up today. Stay tuned. Hey what's up guys it's Chet here from WebsiteWizard.tv and today I'm going to reveal my powerful 3 step WTF process to create a website that's SEO friendly and mobile friendly in just 10 minutes. This is the exact process I use to quickly create professional custom websites for myself and all of my clients. We're going to create your own website using the exact same technology as huge organizations and celebrities including Forbes, CNN, Kim Kardashian, Katy Perry and more. Thousands of people just like you have already used my free step-by-step -step WTF process to build a website from scratch quickly and easily. So be sure to watch the video until the end to learn how to do it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button for more awesome content like this. And for all of you new subscribers, let me know who subscribed by leaving a comment below the video saying I subscribed and I'll reply to each and every one of you. You can also win $100 straight to your PayPal. All you have to do is thumbs up the video and then comment below how to make a website. Comment that and once we receive enough comments below the video, I'll choose one person as the winner. Okay, so to get started, you need to first click the link below this video. So I'm going to click this link now and it will take you to this page. So on this page, you can see the video you're watching right now is going to be available right here. And if you look below the video, you can download the website assets we're going to be using in this tutorial so that you can follow along with me step by step. So go ahead and click here right now to download those to your desktop. So as you can see, I've downloaded the website assets here to my desktop. So I'm just going to unzip that. So once I unzip that folder, I've got my website assets here. So we're going to create your website in just three steps. So the first step is to pick a name for your website. I'm going to try createawebsitenow.com. So type in the website name you want and click check. And I can see that website name is available. So what you want to do now is click get domain and hosting. The domain and hosting are the only two things we need to create a website online. The domain name is just your website name and the hosting is where we store our website files so that our website can be seen online. We can grab both for as little as $10 a month. And I've put some coupon codes above here which you can use to get up to 30% off. So click get domain and hosting. So this has taken us to Hostgator and this is where we're going to buy our domain and hosting. So click get started and then scroll down and we want the hatchling plan right here you don't need these other two so click buy now for the hatchling plan so enter the website name you want right here so I've chosen the .com. So as you can see, that's available and it's been added. So I'm going to scroll down to the next step. So I'm going to uncheck this add domain privacy protection as that's adding an extra cost. And it's an extra add-on that we don't necessarily need. So scroll down to the next step. So for billion cycle here, you want to hit the drop down and you can choose to pay monthly or you can choose to pay for 12 months. If you do choose to pay for 12 months, you get a slight bigger discount. However, I'm going to choose to pay monthly here. Choose a username and a security pin. Step three, you want to enter your payment method on the right here paypal or credit card and enter your personal details here and scroll down to the next step they've got some additional services here again we don't need any of these and they're adding extra costs so uncheck all of these extra add-ons here we don't need any of these so we can now enter a coupon here so i'm going to enter flower power and that's with no spaces and then click validate and as you can see our total due has dropped to 12.96 now the flower power coupon is the best coupon to use if you're paying monthly however if you're paying for 12 months in advance then the best coupon to use here is easy peasy and then click validate so click to agree to the terms and then click check out now. Once you click check out now and you've made your payment, you'll receive a welcome email from Hostgator containing your login details so that we can log into our account and begin creating our website. So click check out now. So once you receive your welcome email from Hostgator, it's going to look like this right here. So all you need to do is click on the control panel link and then use the username and password here to log in. So go ahead and do that right now. So we're inside our control panel here. So you want to scroll down to software here and then click quick install. And then you want to click on WordPress. Select your domain name from the drop down and then click next. So you want to enter your website title here. Just enter your domain name here. 
and then enter a username, your first name, last name, and an admin email, which is going to receive all of the login details for your website. And you want to click to agree to the terms and then click install. Now ignore the stuff down here. This is just some upsell. We're doing everything ourselves for free. So ignore that and click install. So you can see the installation is now complete. So we've now created our WordPress website. So you want to copy these details here as these are our login details for our website. So copy those to your computer and then click login. So you want to use those details to log in right here. So the first thing we want to do is clean out some sample content that was installed when we created our WordPress website. So hover over pages and click all pages. Select the checkbox at the top here to select all of those. Hit the drop down, select move to trash and click apply. Now hover over posts and click all posts. Select the checkbox right at the top here then hit the drop down, select move to trash, click apply. Hover over plugins, click installed plugins, scroll down and then select the checkbox right at the top here next to plugin to select all of those. Hit the drop down, select deactivate and then click apply select the top checkbox next to plugin to select all of those hit the drop down select delete and then click apply so we're now at step two we've installed wordpress we want to now install our theme and plugins so hover over appearance click on themes and then click on adds new and then click upload theme click choose file and then go inside the website assets folder go inside the theme folder and these are zipped files you want to leave those in a zipped format don't unzip these and then we want to install the 2016 theme first so double click on that one and then click install and as you can see theme installation failed that means this theme is already installed on our website so that's fine so if you've already got it on your website it should say it's failed if you haven't then it would have installed so that's fine so after this step hover over appearance and click on themes click on add new click on upload theme click on choose file and inside our website assets folder and in the theme folder you can see now we can install the pal theme child here so select that here pal theme child click install now so there you go theme installed successfully so click on activate here so there we go we've now installed the pal theme now for this pal theme to work you need to have this 2016 theme installed and this is the one we installed first so make sure you always got both of these installed on your website because if you delete the 2016 theme here it will break your site because this pal theme works by connecting to the 2016 theme so that's why we installed both of these themes in the previous step so let's go ahead and look at our website now so hover over your website name at the top here and then click on visit site this is our website at the moment there's nothing going on here but we're going to customize the layout so what we want to do first is add a website logo right here so click on customize right here and then click site identity and click select logo and you can click here to select that from your computer or you can drag and drop the image to this screen I'm going to drag and drop the image so inside my website assets folder here I can drag and drop my logo right here to upload that so now you can see it's finished uploading by the check mark so on the bottom right click select and you want to prop the image so drag close as possible to the image to the logo and then click crop image and then what you want to do is remove this tagline here and then uncheck display site title and tagline and then click publish so we've got our website logo right here. So if you sign up to our newsletter on websitewizard.tv, you get access to our free customizable logos. So you don't have to pay someone a few hundred dollars to create your website logo. So now click the X here and then hover over the website name here and click dashboard. So let's now install some plugins. So hover over plugins and then click add new. And then in the search box at the top right, type Elementor. And you can see right here the Elementor page builder. So click on install now and then click activate. So this is going to make our website drag and drop so we can easily customize it. So we now want to create our website pages. So hover over pages and click add new. So let's create our home page here. So at the top here, type home for the page title. And then on the right here, scroll down underneath page attributes template, hit the drop down and select Elementor for width. And then at the top right, click publish. So we've created our home page. We're going to add some content later on. So let's create our about us page. So underneath pages, click on add new. And then for the title of this page, let's say about us. And then on the right again, underneath template, select the drop down and select Elementor for width. And then at the top right, click publish. So let's create our contact us page. So again, hover over pages and click add new. Let's make the title contact us. 
on the bottom right under template hit the drop down select elemental for width scroll up to the top on the right and click publish and let's add a services page so underneath pages click add new and let's give that page a title of services and then on the bottom right underneath template hit the drop down select elemental for width scroll to the top and click publish on the right so we've created our four pages for our website we actually want to set the home page now so hover over settings and click reading and then for your home page displays select a static page and for home page hit the drop down and select home scroll to the bottom click save changes so let's now create a navigation menu for our website and then we can include those pages we just created so hover over appearance and click on menus and then for menu name just put main menu click create menu and then on the left here underneath pages you want to select those four pages we just created click add to menu and then we can reorder those by dragging and dropping so i'm going to drag home to the top then i'm going to drag about and then contact us and then services so then once you're done scroll down select primary menu here and then click save menu so let's take a look at our website now so hover over our website name at the top here and click visit site so here's our website right now we've got our logo here and we've got our navigation menu here with our four pages and we need to add content to those pages so click the home page here and then click edit page now you want to click edit with elementor so on the left here this is all drag and drop so you can customize and create this page exactly how you like so to do that you simply click the add new section button here you can choose your section structure i'm just going to choose a one column here and then if you click the plus here icon on the left you have a bunch of things to choose from so i can grab this headline here drag that into the area drop that right there and then type in my headline here so you can type in the headline on the left and then you can use these formatting options you can center align right align left the line you can add a link on this text you can go into the style tab here choose the text color and then in the advanced tab you can choose margin paddings background borders so i'm going to go back to content here and then if we click this right here and then again then we're back on the options here but what i'm actually going to do is i've created a layout for you so everything's simple and very quick so let's delete these sections here by hovering over that clicking the cross here so this is completely blank so what you want to do now is click on this add template so you can see they've got a bunch of templates you can use now some of these are paid the ones that say pro here they're all paid paid ones so you have to pay to use those there's some free ones but what I've done is I've created a template for you guys and I've got free templates for you to use so just click on my templates so I created a special template for you and then I've also got other free templates you can use so click my templates click here import template and then go inside the website assets folder go into templates here and I've created four templates one for the about page one for the contact us page home page and services and then inside this all free templates folder I've put every single template that free for you to use but in this video we're going to be using the templates right here so we are doing our home page now so go into the home page folder and then select this template here and then drag and drop that in here so now that we've done that we can click insert right here and then just click no so there we go we've now imported this layout onto our page so this whole page is already created for you so all you need to do is you need to just edit the existing content here and make this page your own so for example we've got a video background here so if you want to change this video background you can click here to edit that section and then on the left here you can see the options so if you go into style here and then you can see the video link right here is what's being played on the background so if you didn't want a video on the background you can click this classic here and then for color you can select the color and you can select a solid background color i like the video i think it looks really cool so i'm going to click the background video option here and we got this awesome background video so to change the text here just simply click here and right here you can just edit the text here and then you can just type this is my new headline you can click this button here and then you can enter a link here you can change the text on this button right here so all you need to do is just go through each section and then edit those to make that your own now for example if you didn't want this whole section here then you can click this X and that will completely delete this section so simply go through here to make this page your own so once you've finished editing the content here you just need to click update right here and what I've done on every single page here is I've actually embedded this video tutorial you're watching right now I've embedded that video right here at the bottom of every page so you can watch the tutorial from your own website and this link right here this goes to the resources page we've been using so if you go to the resources page scroll down 
to step 3 that's the step we're at right now finishing touches we've added our pages and now we're just editing the layouts so once you finish editing this page you can then hover over this section right here and click the X to remove that from your website so once you're finished you just want to click on update here to update that page and then you can preview the page by clicking this icon here and there we go this is our home page right now how awesome is this so now we want to create the other pages so let's go to the about us page here and again click edit page here click edit with elementor and then we're going to import my template i've created for you guys so click this folder here click my templates click import template here and then you can select the file or drag and drop it i'm going to drag and drop that from my website assets folder so go into the templates folder and then go into the about folder and drag this template in there so this is our about template that we've just imported so you want to click insert and then just click no here so there you go this is how this page looks right now so again all you need to do is just click the sections here and then on the left you just make the edits scroll through so just change the image here click the image and then on the left you can click the image here and then you can upload a new image so you click upload files here and then you simply click select file to select that file from your computer and then on the bottom right you click insert media and then once you finish this page click update here and then you can click this eye icon here to preview the page. And there you go, how awesome is this page? So now let's do the Content Us page. So click on Content Us here, and then click on Edit Page. Click Edit with Elementor, click the folder icon here, click My Templates, click the Import here, and then you can select a file or drag and drop that. Let me drag and drop that from my website assets folder. So inside the templates folder, we can now go into the contact folder and drag and drop that template right here. And so you can see the contact template right here. So on the right, click insert and then click no. So there you go. This is our contact us page. So again, all you need to do is click the sections here and then on the left, you can edit those. And if there's a section you don't want, you can just click the X to remove that. And you can also reorder these by simply hovering over the section, left clicking and dragging to a new area here so once you finish just click update and click the eye icon here to preview that page and there you go here's our contact us page so now click on the services page and then click edit page at the top here click edit with elementor click the folder icon click my templates click the import button and then i want to drag and drop the template here from my website assets folder so go into the templates folder go into the services folder and drag and drop that template here and there you go here's the services template so on the right click insert and then click no so here's our services page again simply just click on the section you want and edit that with your own content and when you finish this page just click update and then click the eye icon to preview that page so there you go here's our website how awesome is this so if you want to make any additional changes to these pages simply visit the page here in the menu and then you can click edit with elementor here and that goes straight to the page builder where you can edit the sections here and then click update when you're done so that completes this tutorial on how to make a website with wordpress so if you're ready to start making your own website just click here this will take you to the page in the first step which will choosing our website name so if you also want to watch my latest video you can click here